Alrighty, welcome beautiful people. We are going to do an unboxing of a beautiful gift that I received of the Dream Reading Cards. This is a oracle deck that was created by Rosa and Sura, and it is a oracle deck that is to awaken your intuitive subconscious. So this is the box, again, Rose and Sura. And it is the dream reading cards. Understand the symbolic world of your dreams. I love this. This is a little different oracle than I'm than I'm quite used to. And I'm really fascinated by the dream cards because I did do some courses with one of my spiritual teachers that helped me to feel into the symbolism of our dream state and not take our dreams so um, literal. So this is going to be a really cool deck to utilize. This deck is an inspiring set of cards that takes you step by step through the meaning of your dreams and how to apply them to your awakened life. This beautiful set of 52 cards plus a guidebook by the internationally renowned author Rose Insura will help you understand your dreams. The 22 theme cards Explain the most common dream scenarios from flying to landscapes to intimacy and the 30 reading cards and the accompanying guidebook help you to uncover the messages your subconscious mind is sending you through your dreams. They will give you valuable insights into your life. So this is by Rock Pool Publishing Company. And let's get right into it. A very nice flip top box. I love the color of that. I love the aqua type color. Full size guidebook. Um, well, bigger than most Oracle guidebooks. And, oh, I like it. She's got color in it, as you can see. Let's see about the, um, goes on to tell you how to read the dream cards and gives a beautiful, um, numbered in order guide for your dream um, cards and the reading cards as well I do believe so how to read the dream cards and let's see beautiful colored illustration and then of course it also has the what do they call it? The um, the oracle cards as well. So this is like two decks in one. So very beautiful. Um, almost looks like indigenous symbolism. Love that. Very beautiful, dreamy, feminine, creative type of energy. Love the box. Very well done. Very well done. Just slip the plastic off here. Oh, they're slippery. Like most new decks are. So let's separate them into two piles. The Oracle and the Dream cards. So those are the dream cards and I think we'll go through the oracle cards first how about that so the dream or the oracles have like a beautiful blue sky blue colors in them and the dreams are a soft hue with some more beautiful symbolism there of pinks and a little bit of magenta so soft and feminine <coughs> So the first oracle we have is connection. We are all connected by the universal sea of energy. All that you think and do will have an effect on the world. Reach out and connect with the world around you of love. Beautiful. And they are numbered, so that's card 52. They're shiny, high gloss. Um, what can I see? Size-wise, they're quite nice. Well, let me. what can I compare them to? So this is my Mystical Shaman Oracle deck by Colette Baron-Reed and Alberto. 
and this deck is quite a bit bigger. Healing. Heal past wounds with forgiveness and awareness. By healing yourself, you can become a healer. Healing force for others. Physical healing can happen once your wounds have been confronted. Beautiful. Freedom. Oh, I love this card. Free yourself from limiting beliefs and attitudes. Be an advocate for freedom so others can free be free to pursue their dreams. Unshackle the chains that bind you from being the person you want to be. I always see seahorses as the symbolism of freedom, like a free spirit. So, been around them all my life, and they are very um, supportive of our healing. They're just, I believe all pets and animals in general are here to be that agape love. Growth. Growth requires you step out of the comfort zone. Growing pains can help you in gaining wisdom and experience. The old must be left behind before growing into the new. And that is a very phenomenal card. It's uh, really close to the full lunar eclipse in Sagittarius that we have coming up May 26th of 2021. So this card is just very uh, a time of letting go in order to grow, right? Beautiful. Sacral and solar plexus chakra there. Very beautiful card. Manifest. Manifest your dreams and watch them materialize. Be willing to work on the side, on the inside to make manifestation possible. Make your intentions clear. Awakening. Your consciousness is awakening. You are becoming attuned to the messages of spirit and nature. Trust your psychic abilities. I think this would be a really, really wonderful deck to utilize with other decks, you know, like affirmation. Surrender. <clears throat> Let go of the internal and external struggles in your life. Give up the fight to control others and situations. Relinquish your need to be right and surrender to the higher power. Another beautiful card to go along with this eclipse and this lunar eclipse that we are all going to experience here. We don't always have to be that warrior. If we surrender to divine, anchor our light, that is enough. You are enough. Play. Find time to incorporate play into your everyday life. Allow your inner child to experience joy. You deserve to be happy, joyful, around others true 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 very 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 truth remain authentic to your core values truth can be masked so be objective when dealing with emotional issues address areas in your life that are not achieving your deepest truth love that swords energy right empowerment believe in yourself Believe in your power to create, change, and control your life. Be empowered by becoming an example to others. Use your past experience to make yourself stronger. Again, got the sword's energy with the free spirit of the horse. Empowerment. Gratitude. Focus on the things you do, ha do have rather than the things you don't or can't have. Gratitude is another form of prayer. Practice daily. Appreciate everything and everyone in your life. Gratitude. Got to have an attitude of gratitude for sure. <clears throat> Renewal. Rebirth. Here's the Phoenix. Here's the Pluto. Here's the Scorpio energy. Examine what you resist disc discarding. Discarding. Re reassess what needs to be renewed and given a fresh start. Clean up all the things around you that are cluttering your life. Amen to that. I need to do a physical clutter, actually, of material things. <clears throat> Excuse me, very dry. <clears throat> the weather don't know what it wants to do here in my state. Which is fine, but it just pisses with my sinuses. <clears throat> nurture take care of your needs first your nurturing will benefit others only if your own needs are met first 
nurture the new in your life and watch it grow. And believe you me, when I finally started doing this by taking care of Uno One, by filling my own cup first, by putting my own oxygen mask on first, you'll find out really quick who your true friends are. Because if you put yourself first, that should be honored. We have to fill our own cups first. Relationships, new partnerships are coming your way. Reassess present relationships and leave behind those who do not support you. Be clear what you are committed to. Magic. Shift your focus to a positive view. You are all interconnected, linked by a magical thread. Believe in yourself. You have magic in you. That's right. Just If you haven't tuned into my channel before, I just did a super full lunar eclipse message. This came up in there. Get, into your, get on your path. Understand that it's your destiny to do your work here. And once you do, you do create that spark of magic. Leadership. You are no longer the supporting cast. You are the leading man or woman. Take the initiative. Lead the way for others to follow. You will be judged by the company you keep and those you admire. Very cardinal energy. Creativity. Take a risk if you are you are to lead a creative life. So step out of your comfort zone. Invite creativity into your life. Create something new for yourself. Prosperity. Ooh, it's got the dragon. How cool is that, right? Give and expect the universe to give back to you. Believe that you are prosperous already. Have gratitude for everything you have in your life. Intuition. Look at areas in your life that need decisive action. Search your heart for the right answers. Listen to the messages that come from your intuition and follow through. Love. Your relationship with yourself and others needs reassessing. Open up to love others by unblocking negativity. Embrace love without fear. Make it unconditional. 33, agape love, right? believe there's a master number. I always affiliate it with Yahshua the Christ, but um, it is that unconditional love. Courage, boldness. Step into the courage despite your fears. Be willing to take the risk in order to gain more. Speak your truth. We have the beautiful Artemis here with the wise owl. Totally Sagittarius if you ask me. Love it. Nature and Gaia. Oh my God, we're just coming on out of Taurus season and I spent so much time outside, disconnected from technology, grounding, getting in my body, getting in tune with nature and it was the best thing for my soul, guys. Do it. Get yourself grounded. Respect the beauty of your body as you respect your Mother Earth. Remain connected to nature. You are being protected and I'll add to that, you are being supported. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. <laughs> action. Take some form of action without regrets. Examine what is holding you back from taking action and cut it loose. You will get the most immediate results through acting decisively. No maybes. So that to me is an Aries energy of initiation, movement, Mars energy spiritual warrior beautiful journey do things in a different way take a new route believe your life is only a part of one long journey be prepared for adventure i gotta shake it up myself transformation commit to acting on a new idea or longing take a leap of faith begin again begin again Flow. You can't control life's events. You can only control how you deal with them. It is easier to grow, go in the flow when you, life challenges you. Emotions can over, overflow unless you release them. Beautiful. Wisdom. Experience and failure lead to wisdom. Apply wisdom to prevent 
present situ to your present situation. Learn from spirit world. It's collective knowledge. Bring out the shaman in you, baby. Most old souls have a lot of wisdom they can tap into. Focus. For enlightenment, stay in the moment. Chop wood, carry water, avoid distraction. Meditate, bring unresolved issues into view. I love this. Chop wood, carry water. Love that term. Never even heard of it until a few years ago, and it's awesome. The goddess. Oh, she's beautiful. Embrace the feminine creative and be gentle, nurturing, yet strong. Do not listen to those who want to keep you small. Believe that you are as important as the stars in heaven. And this is so true. I say this often on my channel. The feminine energy was so taught in the old energy to hush the mush, right? Zip your lips. Wrong. That is not a powerful feminine the goddess knows who she is and she speaks her truth and doesn't hold back. Trust. Trust yourself in the universe. Universe is planned for you. Do not give your trust to others lightly. When you, one door closes, another one opens. So cool. So let's see about the dream. <clears throat> My tea's too hot to drink yet. Let me see. Mm-mm. Perfect. So, the dream cards. <laughs> I'm not going to go through um, all of these. I'm going to give you the short um, version of them because I'm going to go ahead and draw us a dream card and an oracle at the end of this. But these dream interpretations will be great. I'm going to utilize these for clients who may in the future want to do... Um, mini chart readings with me and oracle readings with me um, I'm going to utilize them for myself as well again I've done some uh, courses with my spiritual teacher one of them on dream dream interpretations and that is something that I'm very fascinated about it's pretty cool so house buildings what does the house or the rooms of the house represent to you is it in order is it a mess what state are you in so this in, in, it sparks some questions within you if you're having dreams um, to really symbolically look at them. You know, a messy room could be that you need to clean the clutter out of your intellect, clean the clutter out of your physical. If it's tidy, you know, maybe it's just uh, making a few minor adjustments. So that's really cool. Death. Like again, I'm just going to show you these instead of reading all of them because I get to... Whatever. So if you're interested in this deck, anyway, water. What is overwhelming you? So water is affiliated with emotions and feminine energy, um, our moon cycle. So there's all kinds of different ways. And usually when you're interpreting a dream, whatever first intuition you get with when you start feeling into the symbolism instead of always physical, like, Physically, I don't know, dream states are really cool. I love it. Flying or falling. Dreams about the body. Dreams about the sex. Sometimes those ones are pretty wild. Celebrations or social occasions, so gatherings. Dreams about landscape. Weather events and natural um, events. Dreams about animals. I have a lot of those. A lot. Let's read that one. Do you feel free or stifled? Is your situation making you feel caged or unhindered? Would you like to take some new risk? So cool. Dreams about people. Dreams about games. Spiritual guides. How would you like to be more spiritually connected? Do you have any unresolved issues from the past? What magical qualities do you wish to possess? Beautiful. Drew, uh, dreams about school or exams or tests. Dreams about naked. That could be about vulnerability or not being vulnerable enough. Maybe needing to do some heart healing. 
dreams about possessions, maybe materialism. Dreams of being chased. I've had these. Oh my God, I've had these. Have you ever had the dreams where you're being chased and you can't freaking run? What are you running away from? What is making you feel overwhelmed? What are you afraid of or unwilling to face? I used to have these as a child, dude. So yeah, um, my Neptune in the first house was, I escaped from my sensitivities, but I was shut down as a child as well. So yeah, that's huge. Cool. Dreams about birth, babies. Dreams about food. Dreams about vehicles or cars. Oh, my husband would love this one. What's it say? Do you know what direction you want to go in life? Do you feel in control of your life plans? Do you represent the car model in your dreams? How cool. Dreams about communication. Dreams about colors and numbers. I've, I've gotten... I've received sacred symbols in my dream state that I had no idea what they were, and then I ended up later finding... Uh, other things that put in synchronicity so cool so what feelings are you struggling to acknowledge how do you see the world around you what is not adding up in your life that's just one interpretation right can be many different other ones so let's go ahead and let's just draw an oracle and I'll read from the book from this deck I always bless and call upon the holy white light, the divine, the creator presence to bless me, to bless the decks that I use them to uplift, to empower, to encourage. And also I utilize these in the utmost divine love light to bring into awareness for others. And I give thanks for this beautiful blessing and this beautiful gift that I received and I give thanks for being able to utilize my intuition to share these empowering messages with others. And I give thanks in advance. So I don't ever dabble around with dark shit. I mean, I'm all about facing your shadow work, but I do not do predictions. So I don't, a lot of people, whatever. I do more readings of astrological guidance, oracle guidance, divine support. And so... The relationships that I focus on the most in my readings are the relationship that you have with yourself. Because when you're aware that when you empower yourself and reclaim your sovereignty and you love yourself up as a divine child, a creator, a co-creator, and you get in that universal alignment, then you call in the relationships that are healthy for you, not unless or until you do. So I know that it isn't a status quo because a lot of people want to have relationship readings but i think over time people will grow and evolve out of that it's always again if relationships come up in the readings i by all means read them but mine is more about empowering the listener and having the most intimate relationship with yourself first so just a little bit of what i'm all about on my channel so if you're interested in your new Go ahead and go over to my channel, Divine Divination. Check out my content. I share moon cycles. I share astrology. I do readings. And I also have a link in the top of my channel banner where you can contact me and connect with me um, and other like-minded people on other social media platforms like Telegram, MeWe, um, Rumble, and BitChute for personal readings for birth chart readings and oracle readings i am offering those and will be also in the future doing more of them and for now you can contact me at the email that is provided so what's just an overall message from this brand new beautiful oracle that i have received for a collective energy in the now Again, I'm coming to you on May 24th, but this can be a timeless message whenever you tune in for this unboxing of this oracle. That one. Manifest. Manifest your dreams and watch them materialize. Be willing to work on the inside to make your manifestations pop possible. 
make your intentions clear. It's about clarity. It's about facing your shadows, healing and loving up your inner child, to getting back into your spiritual essence to start claiming your sovereignty, unleashing all of the things that have been taught to you and relearning by, you know, planting the seed of what you want to co-create. And then in the physical, that will materialize. So let's see. What can I put this up against? So let's see. Card number 48. Where your thoughts go. Everything grows, so we got to remember that. <clears throat> Let yourself be drawn by the stronger pull of that which is truly love. All is unfolding as it should. The timing is just right for your dreams, desires, and goals to manifest. You've put in the hard work, and now it is time to reap the rewards. Just like a garden, you've planted the seeds of hope tilled and watered the soil with love and care and now you will enjoy the fruits of your labors every thought creates your reality negative thoughts attract negative experiences while positive thoughts bring about positive experiences it's called the law of attraction if you want to manifest your dreams you have to be willing to clear all blocks that say you are not deserving we just came out of Taurus season where a lot of people were reevaluating their you know self-worth their true self-worth Learn to manifest by bringing your negative thoughts to the surface and then clearing them. Cancel negative thoughts and beliefs. Delete them from your mental hard drive. This is a process that will allow for positive manifestations to enter your life. Stay open for signs from the universe. Be clear about what you want. Spend time feeling what it's like as if you have already have what you want to manifest. The law of attraction states that if you believe it, then it's already here. Live it, feel it. Accept that you are a co-creator of your life and that everything is going to according to the universe's greater plan for you. That's that. You will be given everything that you need, but be careful what you wish for. So true. I used to be a negative thinker. I used to be a codependent. I've healed that. I've retrained myself. I've reprogrammed my algorithm, right? So to speak. And my life it shows with this universal law, which is God's law, where I started flipping my script, flipping my mindset, synchronicity start to show up, signs start showing up of your support. And so that is so true with this manifestation card. So I hope this resonates with you guys. I hope it empowers you. Let me know in the comments what you think about this deck. And I send this to you with so much love. Bye now.